Hey everyone, it's CPO here, and check this out. Thanks to you guys for supporting me and my channel, I've got a care package from Rata. I've got three boxes that say Supernote on them, and I don't exactly know what's in here. All three boxes are different sizes. I think it's time to figure out what's in these boxes. And again, uh, just before I get started, thanks to you guys uh, for supporting me. Uh, your engagement on the channel, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Um, Rata has noticed that my videos seem to be helpful uh, to the community. So because of that, they sent me some things so that I can help you uh, with uh, some questions you might have. So for example, a lot of people had asked me early on, like what's the difference between the A5 and the A5X, or what's the difference in size between the A6X and the A5X, and you know, tell me about the cover, and what about the leather cover, and the pins, and uh, I'm like, I don't know, I have one. I have this guy. This is my daily driver. This is my A5X, uh, base, the base model, and it's been working great. In fact, I love it. Uh, it's what I use for my daily workflow. So uh, I didn't have any other things to compare to other than like other tablets, right? Like Remarkable 1, Remarkable 2. So I believe Rata is hooking me up with some things that I can use to help you compare and contrast. And then also when new features roll out, I can do videos because the A5 is gonna be a little different than the A5X because of Linux versus Android. So I think I'm gonna have the ability to show you both versions as features roll out in both of those. So anyway, uh, let's, yeah, let's bust open these boxes. Oh, by the way, uh, I saved the, I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I wanted you to see what came in these boxes and I wanted you to be surprised with me. So yeah, that's why they're still in boxes. So I don't know, there's three of them here. If you want your own boxes, www.supernote.com. So I'm gonna open up the smaller box first because I think this is an A6X. So yeah, I haven't seen one of these yet. So I'm really curious. You're looking at it with me. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, okay, yeah. This is the Lamy version. Supernote A6X. Lamy, which is good because I really wanted to know how the Lamy pen feels and uh, and how much the eraser button is going to make a difference. I always liked the packaging for the Supernote devices. All right. Nice cover. The Lamy pen, don't worry, I'll show you all this stuff here in a second. Oh, this is cool. This is an interesting size. See, I, I wondered what the uh, A6 was gonna be like for me. I do like this size. I. I thought it was gonna be way too small for me, but I kinda of like this size. So uh, I'm not gonna turn them on right now. That'll be a different video if you wanna see anything specific now that I have the ability to compare and contrast. But I will put it in its case. Get in there. Yes, I'm liking this. Uh, and then The Lamy pen fits in nicely. I know the previous versions of this cover had some issues where it was too tight. Uh, this is the newer one. Uh, by the way, if you have an older one of these before they release the new cover, uh, like they've said, they will swap you out for free. So go to their website, go to Reddit, uh, at the Supernote subreddit, um, and they talk about that. But yeah, what a company to be able to, to offer to provide continuing support when they make a change after you've bought a product. All right, so for those of you curious about this uh, Lamy pen, so here's that Lamy pen a little bit closer up. Where's the button? Oh, there's the button right there. This is a very comfortable feeling pen already, I can tell you in the hand. 
It does have a different nib though. It's a, it's a wider, fatter nib. It's still a hard nib. It's not the factory um, Lamy nib or normal stock, whatever you want to call that, uh, but it is fatter. So people have said they like it. People have said they don't like it. So I'll know soon how I feel about that. Yeah, that's cool. A6X Lamy edition. Let's bring out another box. Oh, this is the A5. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, the A5. So it's going to look exactly like the A5X. Super note, this one does not appear to have a folio. Unless I'm missing something. This is like old school V1 right here. Yeah, so identical dimensions, uh, different operating system. So I'm excited to check this out. Oh, I suck at this. Come on, you can do it. Uh, ah, got it. Bum, bum, bum. A5X. Oh, this looks like the Heart of Metal series. Does it say? I don't know, let's open it up. A5X. That looks like a metal pen to me. Oh, yes. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, so this is the uh, the black leather folio. Oh, I really like that. That feels nice. Obviously, we're familiar with the A5X. Same thing I have. Uh, but I do like this folio. But this. So I saw this on Boya's uh, page uh, where they're doing custom engraving. And this is a black heart of metal pen. Check that out. CPO in the his house. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anybody can get a pen engraved with your name on it or whatever you want to say, but that's pretty darn cool. It says CPO right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this feels nice. Oh, yeah. I like that. Where's that Lammy pen? Oh, yeah, that does feel different for sure. For sure. All right, I'm gonna have to do a, a review, a different video. Oh man, the eraser on the pen, dude. That is, that is worth using it right there. I wish we could get the ceramic nibs for the Lamy pen. But at any rate, it's a nice feeling pen. Not too heavy, although the Heart of Metal pen isn't as heavy as I expected it to, and it's very well balanced. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a specific video probably talking about the three pens and my personal thoughts on them. I know you've seen other videos that talk about the options, but this will be my chance to give you my opinion on them. Uh, so, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and again, when we do software updates or how-to videos, I can show you if things differ. 
between the uh, the different uh, versions. And then of course, uh, for those of you actually right now, if you're interested in the size difference between the A5 and the A6, I mean, if you think about it, it's half, and I did a video previously um, that sort of showed this in a graphic, but if you, if you turn it sideways, it's half the size. Uh, the A6 is half of the A5, and, and likewise, the A4, if they ever come out with one of those, will be twice as big as the A5. That's how that works. Um, so, yeah, it's half, uh, and then rotated into portrait. It doesn't feel like it's half the size. It feels significantly bigger than you think it would feel being half the size. Um, anyway, more to come on that. Uh, super excited. Thank you, Rata. Uh, for hooking me up. I uh, really appreciate it and I hope these videos continue to help you uh, share content and information to your customers. And I'm here because I'm a fan first, uh, not because uh, I got this care package. As a matter of fact, I didn't have this care package when I was making all those other videos. So uh, yeah, super awesome. So thank you guys. And once again, thank you to my viewers, my subscribers. Uh, for supporting this channel. Uh, it's because of you I get to do cool stuff like this. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.